Some South Africans are calling on the United Kingdom to return the world's largest diamond, known as the Star of Africa, to its rightful place in South Africa. The diamond is currently set in the royal scepter that King Charles III will hold at his coronation on Saturday, May 6, 2023, according to the Royal Collection Trust, which oversees the royal collection of the British royal family. The Cullinan diamond was presented to King Edward VII, the British monarch at the time, in 1907, two years after its discovery in a private mine in South Africa's old Transvaal province. Now, amid a global conversation about returning artwork and artifacts that were stolen during colonial times, some South Africans are calling for the diamond to be brought back. Welcome. This is Rain Smith and you're watching the New Africa Channel. The diamond needs to come to South Africa. It needs to be a sign of our pride, our heritage, and our culture," said Mothusi Kamanda, a lawyer and activist in Johannesburg, who has promoted an online petition, which has gathered about 8,000 signatures, for the diamond to be returned. I think generally the African people are starting to realize that to decolonize is not just to let people have certain freedoms, but it's also to take back what has been expropriated from us. The diamond in the scepter, officially known as Cullinan I, was cut from the Cullinan diamond, a 3,100 carat stone mine near Pretoria. Cullinan II, a lesser diamond cut from the same stone, sits in the imperial state crown, which British monarchs wear on formal occasions. It is stored at the Tower of London with the other crown jewels, together with the scepter. Ironically, only a replica of the whole Cullinan diamond, which is about the size of a man's fist, is displayed at the Cape Town Diamond Museum. To King Charles, I think it would be right for him to ascend his throne, ensuring that he's, he's showing a sign of hope to us Africans, those who were previously colonized by, by well, not by him directly, but, but by his predecessors. And I think it, if he wants to be a recognized monarchy, a respected monarchy by the African people, it would be wise of him to return what was taken from us without our consent. I believe it should be brought back home because at the end of the day, they took it from us while they were oppressing us, said Johannesburg resident Mohammed Abdullahi. I also believe it should be brought back home because at the end of the day, they took it from us while they were oppressing us. They never just took it from us, they, they took it while they were oppressing us. So I believe, yes, that all the items that the British or all the colonial countries taken from Africa, not just South Africa itself, needs to be brought back. However, not all South Africans feel so strongly about the need for the diamond to return home. I don't think it matters anymore. Things have changed. We're evolving, said local resident Diket Singh and Zahachava. What mattered for them in the olden days about being superior? It doesn't matter to us anymore. She added. Uh, what mattered for them in the olden days about being superior above all, based on being Britain and whatnot, it doesn't matter to us anymore. There is no denying that the global conversation about returning stolen artwork and artifacts from colonial times has gained momentum in recent years. Many experts believe that returning these objects to their countries of origin is the morally right thing to do. Imperialist powers commonly acquire these objects through violent and exploitative means often taking them as spoils of war or as part of a wider project of cultural domination. According to these experts, returning these objects can help to redress the historical injustices of colonialism and promote cultural understanding and exchange between nations. So what do you think of today's video? Do you support the demand of some South Africans that Britain must return the colon and diamond it took from a continent over a century ago? Or do you think the diamond does not matter anymore, so South Africans should focus on more important things? Let us know what you think in the comments below and as always, do subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.